Green! Uh, thank you very much. Oh, fantastic. Wow. There's people with snow on their head up there. It's nice to be back in Melbourne. Lovely place. You could do with a few more cafes, though, couldn't you? <laughs> I don't think you've got enough cafes. What is it, one each you've got now? <laughs> Just trash your kitchens. I'm never cooking at home again. I'm eating out for the rest of my life. And the coffees are strong. Had two coffees. I didn't blink for three days. <laughs> is that normal? Make it stop. Make it stop. But it's nice to be here. And, uh, and I married one of you lovely Australian girls last year. That was fantastic. Oh, it was very nice. I went down on one knee. Not for any romantic reasons. The wife's only three foot six. <laughs> yeah. You can't tell how tall they are when you buy them off the internet, can you, really? <laughs> I thought you'd be taller than this, to be perfectly honest, love. Didn't realise your photo was actual size. <laughs> we had a lovely wedding. Do you take this umpa lumpa? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. But it is nice being married. We have a few issues. She says, I don't listen to anything she says. And she's got a point, cos I bloody don't, to be perfectly honest. I couldn't take that much information in, could I? That's nine billion pieces of information in an afternoon. Me head'd explode. <laughs> Walking down the street, my friend Cindy's got a 12-week scan. They reckon there's one in 400. Bang! Me head'd just pop. <laughs> Things you'll never hear a man say. Sorry, love, tell me that again, but in a bit more detail. <laughs> no. That seven-hour shopping trip was riveting. <laughs> I was with you at every turn. I admire your ability to talk at length without a point. <laughs> it's a joke, ladies. It's just a joke. <laughs> but get married. Get married is fantastic. Oh, we had a lovely wedding, marred by the crap presents we received, I have to say. I put on a free bar. You expect better, don't you? Someone got me a mortar and pestle. Who am I, Merlin? <laughs> Thanks. I'll just put it next to me pipette and Bunsen burner. <laughs> I wanted a cappuccino machine. That's what I wanted. People come to my house. Any chance of a coffee, Jeff? No, but I can do you some copper sulfate solution in me bloody bar to the pesto. <laughs> uh, you ever get married? Open the presents in front of people, then open different parts of the buffet, depending on what they bought you. That's my <laughs> advice. That's my advice, folks. Uh, cappuccino machine, straight through. Mortar and pestle, beer nuts, and then sod off. All right. <laughs> dad. I know it was you, Dad. You stingy bastard. <laughs> My dad is a lovely man, 74 years of age, still single. Still single. When do you start fancying nanas? That's what I want to know. <laughs> when do you start fancying nanas? Is it gradual, or do you wake up one day and see a woman in support stockings and go, cool, she's bloody gorgeous, she is. <laughs> Horlicks and lavender, my favourite. <laughs> Come here, you saucy minx. Did you break a hip when you fell from heaven? <laughs> Did you, babe? Did you? I'm sorry, ladies. Were you expecting satire? I do apologise. <laughs> I so respect you women now, cos we've had babies. Me and my wife had a couple of babies. One's only eight weeks old. He's fantastic. It was lovely, and I, I was at the birth, and I, I cried at the birth, and it was lovely. I don't know why I cried. I was trying to work out whether it was relief or exhaustion or just seeing the wife's private parts get stretched that much, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> oh, yes. That'll bring a tear to any man's eye, that will. <laughs> That's like watching your favourite pub burn down. That is, fellas. <laughs> oh, you're looking at that. Look at that now. <laughs> Ruined! <laughs> Ruined! <laughs> I used to love going in there. <laughs> Thanks, folks. A pleasure talking to you. I'm Jeff Green. Have a great night.